Hello and welcome to today's video coming to you from Tampa, Florida. Today we're in the front garden where we'll be tackling a few different projects we've been gearing up for over the last few weeks. The first of which, we'll be expanding the flower bed that runs along the front of our property where we plan to plant some hydrangeas, geraniums, salvias, and verbenas. To begin, I'm using my step edger to create the new line for the front of the garden bed. Unfortunately, this flower bed runs along our drain field, so we aren't able to expand this flower bed any further. I'll end the line here for the time being until we tackle this side of the yard at a later date. I then come back through, using the step edger once again to cut the grass being removed into smaller sections. Thankfully, the soil in this area is very sandy, so it won't be a difficult task. We won't make you sit here and watch us remove the grass, but here's what it looked like right after it was done. We'll pick this project right back up first thing tomorrow. Hi everyone, Grand Risings. Welcome to today's video. Uh, we are just about to get started on planting, I think we have six hydrangeas. These are uh, Fairy Trail Bride hydrangeas from Proven Winners. We have one in the back that we're going to be planting in a container to see how it performs versus in the landscape here in Tampa, Florida, growing zone 9B. These ones are going to go in the ground to see how they perform actually planted in the garden. Uh, we also have a couple of Rubino Whiteout, three of them that we're going to plant uh, right around this uh, hanging basket area. We have two containers in the front with two of them themselves, excuse me, there's mosquitoes. We've planted two in the containers and those are actually doing really well. So we want to see how they perform here in the landscape. As you can see that coleus, I'm sure doesn't look so great at the moment. Uh, we are actually, uh, had, we had temperatures get down to 26 degrees uh, about two weeks ago. Uh, and in doing so, we lost some of our plants that are annuals that uh, we've, uh, they've been on borrowed time here in Tampa, Florida. We have a very long growing season. Uh, so a lot of these plants would have fizzled out long ago if you live in a more northern climate. This is February and these have been planted since last year. So they are, uh, it's time for them to be replaced. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that probably in another video. So let's go ahead and get them planted up and see what it looks like at the end. The hydrangeas Jose and I are planting today are a cascading hydrangea called Fairy Trail Bride from Proven Winners. These shrubs have been given the green light for growing zone 6 through 9, so we're definitely pushing the limits here in Tampa, Florida, where we are in growing zone 9B. You may have already noticed that these shrubs currently do not have any leaves on them. That's because they are a deciduous shrub, meaning they drop their leaves in the fall, with fresh new leaves emerging in the spring. Fairy Trail Bride is classified as a medium-sized shrub, settling in at 4 feet tall and 4 feet wide at its mature size. This is the perfect size for border plants or in containers where you'll truly be able to appreciate this plant's trailing growth habit. This plant will perform best in full sun to part sun, depending on your growing zone. So for us, we'll be sure to provide this plant with protection from the hot afternoon sun. Oh, I almost forgot to mention that this shrub blooms on old wood, so leave a comment below if you'd like a video on the differences and a tutorial for pruning your hydrangeas. Moving on, let's get the Superbina Whiteout Verbenas settled into their new home in the garden. This garden annual is one of our favorites and is ideal for growing zones 8A through 11B. So you should take note of this plant if you're watching this video from a growing zone in the warmer end of that scale. When fully mature, Superbina Whiteout will reach 6 to 12 inches tall with a spread of between 18 to 30 inches with a mounding and trailing growth habit. We placed an order for a few annuals that we're planting later in this video, but until they arrive, I'll use the metal rake to level the gardening compost you saw Jose spreading out and get all of these plants watered in. Due to our soil composition, we usually water everything in once really well and then come back through a second time once the ground has had a chance to absorb some of the water and saturate the entire area once more. Before moving on to the next project, I just had to stop and enjoy the gorgeous and highly fragrant rose blossoms currently in the garden. This time of year, we like to go through our garden and cut back or prune some of our plants, such as this lantana. This is the third season these three plants have been in the garden and to encourage a nice and compact growth habit, we reduce the plant significantly. 
We know this plant can tolerate an extreme haircut, so be sure to do your research before taking drastic action like this. This plant is classified as an annual and is called Citrone from the Proven Winners Luscious Lantana series. At its maturity, you can expect this plant to be two and a half feet tall and wide and is rated for zones nine through 11. Here in the south, this plant will flower until our first hard frost, which rarely happens, but it will be taken out earlier in the fall for more northern climates. This is three weeks after pruning and the plants are beginning to exhibit the nice compact shape that we like to see. Moving on to the fairy trail bride hydrangeas, you can see they were mostly dormant at the time of planting, with new growth just beginning to push through. Now of course we'd all love to plant a shrub when it looks full and lush, so this is definitely one of those trust the process situations. We like to think of gardening as a great opportunity to expand our thresholds for patience and remember that we're dealing with a living organism, so we have to allow space for the plant to acclimate. With that being said, it's important to remember that shrubs don't behave like annuals in terms of what you can expect out of them in just one season. For the first year, trees and shrubs primarily focus their energy into establishing a strong and healthy root system. We added premium continuous release plant food from Proven Winners to help these hydrangeas do just that. That doesn't mean that you won't get to enjoy some activity from these plants in year one, but this information may help you manage your expectations. To offset this, take advantage of the extra space you'll have in the garden and plant extra annuals and enjoy them until your shrubs get going. A few weeks later, we had a huge delivery of plants that we ordered for various garden beds throughout our property. We don't have the space for a greenhouse or a shade house in our case, so we had them under the protection of our back covered porch while we acclimated them to our bright Florida sun. We loaded the geraniums into our gorilla cart and then wheeled them around to the front garden. While we set them out into their new places, it's worth mentioning that you'll see this grass begin to decline over the next few months. We've been working with our city for about a year and a half now to get the power lines buried and they'll be starting that process very soon, which means a lot of trenching. To take advantage of the situation and make the best of the chaos, we'll also finally be having an irrigation system installed through the entire property. We're using our twist and plant gardening auger to create the planting site for each of these plants. Jose then followed behind me adding the premium continuous release fertilizer to the holes and finally tucking them into the garden bed. These annuals are called boldly coral geraniums from proven winners and are rated for zones 9 through 11. They do best in part sun to sun and will continuously bloom for you until your first frost. To finish off this flower bed, we're planting unplugged so blue salvia and high noon bush daisies, which we'll discuss further in just a moment. Jose got all of these freshly planted flowers watered in before we moved on to the hanging basket we talked about briefly in the beginning of this video. While he gathers the materials for that project, here's a quick look at how this flower bed is performing for us so far. Just ignore the weeds for the time being. Now that the coleus has been put to rest, we can begin planting this hanging basket with two new plants that we've never worked with before. The first being Curly Whirly Corkscrew Rush from the Graceful Grasses series, which is a really fun plant we've never seen before. So we thought we'd give it a try and see how it does for us. We really enjoy the texture it adds to this space. Secondly, we're adding another new plant for us called Purple Chablis Lamium, which will work as a wonderful spiller for this hanging basket. Both of these plants are from the Proven Winners' Proven Accent series, which we don't typically see in our area. The Lamium is rated for zones 4 through 8, so we'll enjoy it during our cooler spring months and then switch it out in the summer when it begins to fizzle out. 
The corkscrew grass is a perennial for our growing zone, so it should stick around with us for several seasons. We'll water them in and be able to call it a day. A few short weeks later, this garden bed started to wake up and put on a wonderful display of color for us. The geraniums added a nice pop of bright color that we really needed in this space and bloomed for us continuously. We enjoyed them as a border plant and they began filling in the spaces as the weeks went on. The bush daisies were a little slower to take off, but once they did, they were consistently covered in bright yellow flowers. The pollinators really enjoyed this plant as well. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for further garden updates and to see what we do next when some of these plants fizzle out. Until then, thank you for tuning in to today's video, and we look forward to seeing you next Saturday in the new one.